Now today I'm going to show you how to replace the 83 to 93 Mustang taillight lens. What we're working with here came out of a 93 coupe and we have our replacement LX taillight lens in front of us. Now you don't have to remove your housings from the car just to replace the lens. We did so here just video uh, this installation. Now you're going to want to grab a flat blade screwdriver or something similar and be very careful. Work your way around the edges of the housing and lens separating the butyl tape sealer from the lens. You can actually start working it out by hand. Just work very slowly, that way you don't break anything. And pull your old lens off. Now the inside of this housing is extremely dirty and I need to remove all this original sealer. I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up and we'll show you how to put on the new sealer and new clips to attach your new lens. Now that I've got everything cleaned up, I'm going to go ahead and throw on the new clips and the new butyl and the new lens. Now all I used to clean out the old butyl was just a simple flat blade screwdriver, a little bit of time, a little bit of patience. Work your way all the way around. You're not going to be able to get it perfectly clean uh, unless you use some sort of chemical uh, agent, but really not necessary. I did take just a uh, all-purpose cleaner and microfiber towel and clean out the inside of the, the lens housing because there was a lot of dirt built up. I'm sure you'll find the same thing on yours. Now the factory uses four uh, retaining clips. The new lens comes with five. Uh, the retaining clips are located on the outer tabs and I normally take this fifth one and stick it on the next available tab next to the inside because uh, this will be next to the uh, license plate. This is what I call the inside. So we'll go ahead and throw those clips on. You want to make sure that the, uh, the tang for the clip uh, right in there goes toward the channel that the lens is actually going to be sitting in. And they just simply slide over the plastic tabs on the housing. Now you can go ahead and grab your roll of butyl. And I normally start at a lower, at the lower corner here. And just start unrolling it all the way around. You may have to stretch it out just a little bit to get it to fit down into the channel. That's fine. And this stuff is very sticky, so take your time, don't rush. Because otherwise you'll just end up making a complete mess, which I have been known to do from time to time. And as this paper gets longer, you can tear it off out of the way. That way you're not fighting it the whole way around the lens. And when you come to a, uh, to a corner, you just round it around. And you'll notice around where the clips are at, that butyl isn't tucking down completely in the channel. And that's fine because whenever you set that lens into place, it will force that butyl in and around the clip so you have no leaks. That's why I put the, uh, the clips on before the butyl. And when you come up to your edge here, you just want to tear off your, your remainder and then give yourself a little bit of a uh, flattened edge on both sides. Tuck everything down in there and then whenever you come up to your seam, just really make sure and marry those two together. That way you have a completely sealed channel. Now you can take your lens, 
I'm gonna center it into position. And then mash it on down. Don't press too hard because you can break the lens, but you want to give it firm pressure all the way around to make sure that the lens fully engages the clips and then fully engages the butyl. All right, I'm not getting any more out of it. So there you have it completely restored factory housing with our new LX lenses. Now this same process will apply for any of the tail light lenses we sell. Again, the LX lenses are the only ones that include the butyl and the, uh, the retaining clips, but we do have a kit that includes the butyl and retaining clips for all the other lenses that we sell. Now for more exterior restoration videos and for other lighting options for your Mustang, check out latemodelrestoration.com.